morning. Hey, um, uh, just to let you know, life is a joy. Although I had the flu for a few days and it wasn't so joyful, but yeah, life is a joy. And um, I just wanted to uh, ask you all a couple questions. I was a cabinet builder for years and that's actually what I started, the trade I started with. And uh, so I'm wondering if anyone would be interested in me showing you how to do layout and how to build cabinets. I just built a cabinet today, uh, just out of necessity. We are getting ready to put in all of the solar equipment, but I have to have something to attach uh, all of my solar equipment to. Uh, so it's going to be set up inside of a cabinet. So I had to go ahead and build a cabinet because uh, hopefully my solar stuff's going to be coming in this next week. I've got most of it already, but um, and I've got a friend coming, so I want to make sure that the cabinet's ready, everything's ready to go. So here's the cabinet that I built this morning. And I'll just explain it to you right quick. Uh, let's see. Um, it has uh, an inset face, and this uh, is something we used to do a lot on kitchen sinks. It gives a little bit of knee space here because of this back set of this fur of the second, uh, the inset face. And also it gives very good ventilation because if you see right up here, there's like a, an inch and a half space in between the outside face and the inside face and that's left open. That way you can just have lots of ventilation. Um, all, of my, all of my electrical at, for my solar will come, this door right here will open up to the outside and all of my solar will be set up. My hot water heater will be set up against this wall uh, right here. And uh, then my two inverters actually will be on this wall over here. And um, no, I'm sorry, they're going to be, there's a, a wall coming in that will be right here. And that wall is where the two inverters will go. And then on this wall will be all my electrical. And I'll be using um, uh, Square D boxes, QO boxes for uh, all my feed in from my solar panels and uh, with uh, 15 amp breakers on each one separately. And then we'll also set up our 110 box, our 150, I think they say 115 now. Huh? When I started they said 110, but now I think they say 115. So anyway, we'll, this, uh, we will not have 220 in our bus. Now we will have 220 on our generator. It produces 220 and it is a, um, it's a 15 kilowatt, so it produces plenty of power. So if we ever need 220, we can use that. But this is just the little cabinet that I built. And uh, after uh, much, uh, much discussion about how to fit a sink in, uh, Debbie kind of wanted it angle angled, but we just are not ha not going to have the space to do that and still have a full size sink. The sink that I'm putting in here is 33 inches long. It's a very large deep sink, double sink. We will not have a dishwasher, so we want to make sure that we have um, an easy place to wash our dishes. So anyway, if you're interested in me uh, doing a layout for uh, showing you how to do layout sticks and uh, all standard sizes for cabinets and that stuff. This is a standard cabinet like goes in a house. But you should always stick with standards if possible. Uh, that's what we're accustomed to. So anyway, I'll be putting this in and we'll hopefully be starting on the electrical this week. But if you would, just uh, send me a little note if you uh, are interested in me uh, showing uh, any layout for cabinets.